Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hello, and welcome back to Tim Friend's playthrough of the Spooky Basement. We're, uh, we're today. Today we're going on what, if you looked at our supplies alone, you would assume would be an intense dungeon. Uh, but it's actually like a level one short dungeon run. Still trying to get some of our lobies up to, uh, to veteran level so that we can play havoc with uh, veteran level bosses. Uh, but supplies are free this week, so I decided to just fuck it. Let's get a lot of them, just for just for shits and giggles, just to see how well we can do, uh, or if it'll make any kind of difference. I doubt it. I doubt it'll make a huge difference because of how good we are at this game. Complete 100% of room battle. This is it. This is it. This is the whole fucking. This is the whole map. This is nothing. This is tiny. This is. This is absurdly small. Okay, okay, but we do get occult scrolls. Occult scrolls, which we can use our torch on to burn away uh, one of our impurities, uh, our negative quirks. I think we use it on Kyoshe. Uh, we'll look at it, use the torch. What do we get rid of? Hylomania, hell yeah. Always good to get rid of manias and phobias and shit like that. Sure, let's get some fucking food. It's not like it was difficult to get food in the first place, but now we've got some more of it. And it'll still... It, like, it looks like it won't sell for anything. Like, we can't just go into a dungeon, have bought infinity foods and shit like that, and then just come out and be like, Hey, look all this shit I found. That that one's still not going to fly, unfortunately. Uh, let's use this one on the Arbalest. The Moonshine with Midas Norbs gives us a 30% damage boost. Yes, I remembered it correctly. A trap, okay, with a bleed. Whoa, if, if only we had some kind of bandage that we have six of to use to get rid of the shits and the whatevers. Easy. It's, we're the most, we're the most supplied. There's only fucking four. This is such a tiny dungeon. I'm so not used to these fucking, these short, short, uh, short range, short length, short length adventures. I just, I'm, it's unfamiliar. It's baffling to me. I gotta turn down my fucking speakers. <clears throat> Apologies if you can fucking hear my game layered on top of itself, but, uh, I, I forgot that I don't listen to the, to the music, to the to the moans, the groans, the mutterings of the narrator. I don't listen to all that shit. That shit's just for you because I don't want to get distracted and lost in it. And it's not like there's fucking audio cues in this game anyway, so who gives a shit? Ugh, gonna come out of here with fucking nothing. This is gonna be like I spent no money and somehow I'm gonna not make a fucking profit out of this dungeon. There's nothing. I haven't even had any room battles. Ugh, eat a food. Yeah, go for it. I could have brought, could have, quote, bought more food. Could have been fine. Oh, hell yeah. A place to use a bandage? You got it, baby. Let's get rid of that six damage bleed that is totally irrelevant because, yes, these two are room battles. What the fuck? One? There's one room battle in this dungeon. One of them. One. Are you shitting my nuts? Are you currently shitting me? Yeah, fucking, it's bandage o'clock. We're just gonna get hit by all the traps in the world. Uh, sure, fuck it. Look at those bones. What's in there? Ennui is in there. Well, that's, as you know, as far as bones go, I could have done with, with more interesting bones, but now I just kind of feel apathetic towards everything. Now this, this might be the time. Let's fucking try it. Let's try a shambling. Let's get a steady shambling. I don't think we can make it light in the void. Yeah, there's there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, if we go back with the 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 fucking if we go backwards with Manet, it'll bring the Hellion forwards. Uh, but it'll make Hodank forwards as well. So I think we're just gonna heal Hodank. Uh, resist the bleed. That's very polite. Uh, we're gonna go forward with Giffard, and then shoot. Should we just shoot with... no, we... hmm. Hmm. No, I believe we just just fire away with the, the sniper shot, and uh, have Kyoshe begin to move forward. Ah, if only we'd had our fucking... Uh, if only we'd had Holy Lance equipped. This would have been so much easier. But it's not, and so it's not. Okay, these motherfuckers got dodge. Uh... I don't 
remember if I'm supposed to focus them or just endure them. They're gonna put a lot of stress on us, which isn't great. Uh, sure, use the bandage. It's great. Uh, you mark this target. Their debuff resistance is pretty low, uh, so it's okay. Uh, what's, what's their stun resistance? 50%? We've got a 70% chance to stun both of them. Let's fucking do it. I don't give a shant. Hmm. But I, I should have just moved backwards with Mane, because then I could move forward with, uh, with Giffard. Uh, or, because that would have moved Giffard forward, putting on Iron, turning on Iron Swan, which would let us, uh, hit the Shambler in the back. Ah, uh, I don't like that. Okay, that's, we're still putting out pretty hideous damage with Sniper Shot on a marked target. Uh, if we can just fucking remember to use bandages on our turns, because he's putting pretty nasty bleeds on us. Okay, yeah, Mane, move two backwards. Very nice. Kyoshe, use a bandage. And, uh, I mean, fuck it. Should we use Mark of Faith? Or Bulwark of Faith so we could mark ourselves? Or should we just take a swing at one of these ding-dangs? Um, wow. What the fuck? Oh, that guy has... They're buffing themselves. Yikes. Uh, yeah, let's just Mark of Faith. Put a buff on Kyoshe so he can tank these, these clapping claws. Undulating Withdrawal. Great. Yes, this is the Blight one. Yes, it is. Uh, well, good thing we brought all these fucking anti-venoms. Fatang, a crit for 22, delightful. Look how low that makes the HP go. Uh, and now we've got another bandage use with an iron swan for a pitiful seven, a regretful seven. Uh, Clapper Claw, yes, they're, they're, they're buffing themselves. Okay, yes, that's quite a large buff indeed. I, I can see it, it's uh, quite scary. Uh, let's start healing. Mmm. Mm, that's sweet, sweet five. You know just how to make me happy with five HP recovered. Mmm, it's tasty. Ah, beans. If we'd rolled maximum, we could have fucking killed that bunch, but we didn't, so we couldn't, and we didn't. Uh, let's just try stunning them now. Because if they're stunned, then they don't get to attack. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the base requirement for being stunned in almost any RPG, so... I, I, you shouldn't be surprised. These clapping claws, even when buffed super high, aren't doing a huge amount of damage to my 22% damage reduction crusader of Kyoshe. Uh, don't like that he dropped the heat, the the bleed on my on my sweet crusader. But man, he's in training. You know, he's 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 trying his best. There we go. That's the shambler out. Now we just have to. I guess we do have to kill the clappity claws. Uh, oh, I didn't know the Shambler left a corpse. That's interesting. Does something happen? Like, why would it leave a corpse? What would be the point? Ouchie bazouchies, that hurts. Okay, alright. I don't... I'm not in love with your 75% protection, but, uh... Mm, that's not what I want. I want you to roll higher than that. Instead, you did not. You didn't. Uh, okay. Should we blind fire to maybe... I've got a 50-50 shot of shooting the corpse, 50-50 shot of shooting the clapper, or the sycophant. The sycophant. But we got the sycophant, so it's fine. Hey, We beat the Shambler again, at level one, again. And we got the Ancestor's Map. That's not a, that's just not great. It's just not great. Good thing we've got all this fucking food, though. It really just go to town on it. Uh, no more bandages, we actually ran out. We freaking ran out of bandages, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, everybody eats up as much as they can. Uh, before we go into this fight, where we will use word reconstruction on what's-her-face Giffard, uh, to heal her up as much as we can before going into the room battle. There we go. That's what I like to see. I don't like that bleed. Uh, really, uh, really not liking the low-level occultist putting consistent bleeds on people, because, uh, people don't have their bleed resist outscaling his bleed chance on his heal. Which is a bummer. It's a bummer to use this, these occultists at such low levels, but we're doing what we can. Man, a lot of resisting and just the mark goes through, but I guess you can't resist mark, so that makes sense. Resist, resist. Okay, we've got the power. Let's use Wicked Hack on a spider. Chonk him. Get out of here. Spiders ain't, new, ain't leave no corpses. Boom! Chablam! Put a, bit, a couple of extra pieces of uh, equipment onto our dear Hodank, our dear new Hodank. So now she's rocking a plus 25 accuracy, so she is 
never gonna miss. She's gonna be always operating at that 95% chance to hit the highest percent chance you can possibly get, I believe. Boom, Chakalaka? She is out of there. Look at that massive speed bonus. Mmm, it's tasty. All right, let's rock our way into this room and fuck it, let's use our holy water on it. Let's use our holy waters and bonk them on the head with shovels or some shit, I don't know. Oh man, I wish freaking Manet had gone first, but hey, with a high roll, we can still one shot something even without being marked. Sure, use the holy water. Okay, that gives resistance to debuffs or resistance to statuses in general, I guess. Uh, and that's great, that's fine. Uh, we'll use a mark uh, on the Swine Chopper. The reason we're not using it on the Cultist Brawler is because the Brawler is likely to use its, uh, um, its hoozy butt. It's uh, Ren for the Old Gods, which I believe moves it forward a step, which conveniently puts the Swine Chopper into the second position where it can be shot by the Arbalest. Uh, and that's, we've still got the, the Hellion to do Iron Swan on the Swine Drummer. Uh, and fuck it, we could spit or use harsh language at this cultist brawler and it would fall at this point because we got a very nice damage roll with Kyoshe. Bing bong, bing bong. I don't like all this stress that you're putting on me. I think I nailed that one. I think I got it in one. Oh, the uh, sniper swing also gives a little bit of a little bit of crit, which is nice. Is it a? Uh, it makes me. T I mean, fucking the the Arvalest is already rocking plus seven percent crit versus mark. We might as well stack that crit. I think it is the way to go. Should we mark? It, it'll do a damage, so fuck it. Get it out of there. And then Iron Swan the Drummer. Boom! He's out. The reason we Iron Swan the Drummer is good. Fuck it. Because we can just stun this bonk head. And he doesn't even get a final turn. He just gets to sit there and wait as everyone else aims at his fucking head. Uh, should we even? I mean, fuck it. Let's mark that corpse. Bow! A misclick, and we've marked a corpse. Oh, whoa, 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 why is he going so fast? He must have rolled super high. I don't like that at all. But tang, he's dead anyway. Boop, 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 boop. Get out of here. Sure, I'll take all this extremely mediocre treasure. But we don't get as much treasure if we don't have as many fights. Use one of my six skeleton keys on that shit. Oh, dude. Two food, $100, and a, a mediocre item? You shouldn't have. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. That was like a 10-minute dungeon. We've easily got enough time for another one. We did get a nice amount of money from it. Okay, we Dipsomania craves alcohol. What, 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 what happened in there, you guys? Why y'all become Dipsomaniacs? It's bad. I don't want you to be Dipsomaniacs. That will, like, never do anything, but I, I know it's got to have something somewhere. Okay, let's, let's just go straight into the next one. Let's see what we can get. Uh, Redemption Amulet, who cares? Brawler's Gloves. I like the Brawler's Gloves. Plus 25% damage in position one. That's, that's pretty fucking nice. Tenacity Ring, plus 10% death blow resist, plus five dodge. That's not bad either for our fucking, uh, I mean, it's, it's not amazing, but the plus five dodge, plus 10% death blow resist ain't gonna, ain't gonna do me too bad. Minus 5% crit is only bad on people who rely on direct damage, so if we put that on, like, a Jester... Like, that's almost pure benefit. Um, especially because the Jester, like, the only thing we could increase about his damage other than Finale would be, uh, like, increasing bleed damage. But there's no trinkets that do that. You can only increase bleed chance, which I suppose does uh, increase bleed damage, but still. But I think the Brawler's Gloves, Brawler's, I keep I keep rolling my bees, Brawler's Gloves, uh, will take out Hodank. Hodank's got to go to the Doctor because uh, of her ennui. Which gives her minus 25% virtue chance. That's rough. That's rough stuff. We're going to bring in Greslet. How's Kyoshe? Kyoshe's a little stressed. Uh, and so is Giffard. But I believe that we just don't have the fucking the frontliners to do it anymore. We, we got rid of all of our frontliners. Well, what if... What if we respect... Uh, no, that's a bad idea. I was like, what if we respect... Uh, Mane to be a second ranker, and then had Asqui as our front ranker, and then two Arbalests. It's a pretty brutal, the <laughs> pretty brutal one. We could do it. We could try it. Uh, so let's let's see if we get anything cool from these long ones. The ancestors' pistols. All right, I'm not super enthused about it. Uh, get another wounding helmet for no one. 
The Guardian Shield, plus 50% healing receipt. Like, this is all benefits. It's just, like, the negative is that you have to have a man at arms in position 4, which is wild. He's just going to be shouting at people the whole time. Uh, but he'll be a tanky shoutman. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, right? Should I just, should we just fuck it? And do this medium one with double Arbalest, second rank occultist. Let's, let's swap out Abyssal Artillery and Demon's Pull for Sacrificial Stab, because we're going to the Cove anyway, so fucking might as well. Uh, and then Esqui. And then, where's Baynard? Baynard! Baynard! Alright, Baynard, let's, let's grab these manacles off of you. Uh, and put them onto Esqui. Es Ashwi? Ashwil? Ask Will? I'll never know. I'll never know his name. What does this one do? 30% stun chance, but plus 50% stress. Ugh, no thank you. Not with this, please. Okay, we'll go back to the estate. We'll throw what's his butts. We'll throw Kyoshe into the meditation room and Giffard into the prayer zone. Uh, yes, because our... We are buffing this up. We've got a shit ton of crests. We, we should see what we can do. Can we... What can we buff with the stagecoach? Can we do anything? The network. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's fine. That's good and fine. I don't believe we need portraits anymore. Am I... Ooh, am I wrong? Oh, we need portraits for the bar. We need portraits. We need deeds. We need bus. Okay, I mean, shit. Uh, we just, we need bus for this, which is reducing disease treatment cost. I mean, that's a money saver. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's let's do that. We can get a step closer to completely completing the sanitarium. Uh, then we will need busts less. Uh, once we complete the tavern, we'll need even less portraits. Uh, not that we super crave portraits now. We just need deeds for the stagecoach network so let's use the let's trade uh go up to portraits get the deeds close the trade menu go to the wrong building go back to the stagecoach open up the stagecoach kablam all right 25 deeds and we done with deeds i believe and then we can just just use these these gd whatchamahoosits yeah okay so we're gonna go to the cove because i mean the Redemption Ant Armlet is fine. Like, for a Leper, that plus 15% damage, that's pretty hefty. Uh, and he wants to be in position 1 anyway. A minus 3% Virtue Chance is a bummer, but it's not, like, we want to avoid that happening in the first place. So, and also, I want to finish this before the end of the episode. So, it, we're doing it. We're doing it live! Well, uh, let's go up to 12 food, 8 wood. We'll bring a Medicinal Herb, uh, I think. Got torches. Uh, let's bring a Skeleton Key. Couldn't hoit. God, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Because I remember, like, last session I forgot uh, shovels. That's terrible. I hated forgetting shovels. Uh, Esqui, you're fine. Mane, you've got the hands from the abyss. Good, 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 good. How about you? How are you guys doing? We could have one person with suppressing fire, but I think having them with the same things is going to gonna be doing the work for me. This is a bigger dungeon. I, like, I feel like there's at least one more room in this one than last. Maybe I'm wrong. But there are longer corridors. Uh, uh, can't use the key on this chest, so crack that bunch open for nothing. Woo! It's nothing. Bandits? In the cove? I fucking... That's so rare. That's so uncommon. I feel like I don't see that shit at all. Uh, well, let's... Uh, should we try to just fucking... Just... Just beach him out with a stun? Just beach him out? No, let's start marking. We'll we'll mark one. We'll just be marking and healing. We've got the stun in case we don't need to mark or heal, but we'll just be marking and healing and stunning. And the stab will be for hilarious, if hilarious ever needs to happen. Uh, yeah, transform, bud. Gotta get that HP back up. You crit healed yourself by transforming into a goat monster. Of course you did. Uh, let's ram this fool all the way to the back so he has to use shitty scratch or whatever the fuck it's called. Decimated. We can get off a nice lethal sniper shot and another... Yeah, another. We didn't need to mark these people at all. They just go down. Oh, damn, I forgot because uh, Greslet's got like plus 35% damage or some shit. 
on her on her items, which is madness. That's so much of a damage boost. It's insane. It's insanity. It's, it's fucking Sean Hannity. Uh, let's heal Mine. Uh, that'll get him back up to full. Uh, unfortunately, that gives us not a lot of chance to kill the uh, our brigand cutthroat friend up front. If only we rolled one higher with Asqui, that would have been the best. Please? Hey! Had a 33% chance of doing that, and guess what, friends? We did it. All right, a substantial amount of money and some busts. That's that's what I like to see. That's what I like to sizzity see. What do we got in here? There's still booty in there. A key and some food and $500. All right. That's just fine. It, I'll capitalize each of those words. Capital T, that's, etc. Ooh, a room battle. I wonder if this is the only room battle. Um... What if we use bandage on it? What if we use torch on it? What if we use shovel on it? Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Okay! Don't use the shovel on the bar relief! That's pretty fucking bad! <laughs> oh man, that's like burning books! Oh, they hate that shit! Oh man, okay! This has been uh, Tim Friend's learning moment here in the cove with starring Tim Friend. Your friend, oh, I've never noticed this man hanging out of this busted ship. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I know you're afraid, buddy. Stop, stop shouting at all your friends. We're in for the old god. Okay, this is all. So far, this is all fine. As long as the Plagic Guardian doesn't guard either of those back two, preferably, like if I would understand if it blocked one of them. Uh, I would love it if it did not block either of them and instead block the brawler. Then I could hopefully shoot the shit out of these guys, both of them, uh, before they get a second turn. Blagic Guardian up next? Nope. Okay. We transform. We turn into the beast. We use rage. And we... Yeah, we kill the shaman. Get out of here, shaman. Barnac yeah, now he's got to use the barnacle barrier on the ding dang brawler. You silly fool. What did you think was going to happen? Idiot. Ugh, it's such massive protection bonus. Ugh, it's, well, it's also because Hodank does not have the damage bonuses. Greslet has the damage and Hodank has accuracy. Uh, if I push... No, I, I should claw. Because that can hit the brawler and we'll do it an aggregate amount of higher damage. We can just fucking shoot this man. Shoot this fish man. Try to just drill through their protection. Fuck me. Uh, we don't really need a heal. Hmm, was hoping for a crit with your plus, like, 20% chance to crit on that shit, but we'll take what we can get. Even with a plus 35% damage, we're still hitting for such a slight amount on this, this, this fish man fool. Hey, look at these dodges. I'm feeling real good about them. Feeling real good about these dodges. Yeah, yeah, let's rake them again. Hey, we got the brawler even through the guard. Very nice, very nice. That leaves us with the second ranker. We can just shoot with the sniper shot and he's done. He's outie. All right. What do we get? Okay, some heirlooms. I'm fine with heirlooms because we don't have to upgrade a lot of people right now. Though we will shortly. Okay, two room battles. Maybe two, maybe three room battles. God, what an absurd first adventure of the session is that we had the fucking... Excuse me. We had a, a, a Warrens with one room battle in a just do all room battles run. What a silly thing to occur. What a silly thing to happen. <laughs> Let's use a fucking torch and start the marking. Uh, I think our damage person, uh, Greslet, might want to shoot someone that is not marked. Uh, Cause I think she'll still have a decent chance. Uh, it's just a max roll will kill. If that's the case, then we should shoot at the marked target to at least guarantee the kill. Uh, we'll transform, turn into the goat man. Uh, we will not be pushing them to the back. We'll be fishing for those high rolls. Should have hit the first rank. I'm silly like that. Uh, we cannot... Ooh, a crit almost gets the kill, but I, we can't always get etc. etc. what we want. Uh, we'll use another rage. A high rolls on Esqui. I like that a lot. Uh, let's go back to healing. Mene topping himself back off to full. Spear fishing, landing a hit on Greslet. Don't pull her too forward. Thank you. And with a very, very accurate hodank shot, that fish man is down for the count. Easy fights. Easy. Even with this fucking mismatched band of scallywags, we're doing okay. 
Yeah, fucking. Oh, you butt fart. It's just so afraid that she had to drink a gross water. I would have had her drink it anyway, just in case it was stress reduction water. Which, I mean, I don't know how likely it is, but we've had it a couple times. I, I would feel justified in having her bathe her face in the gross water of the cove. All right, Coral, be, be stressed down. It's not. It's stress up instead. Man, she is... She is getting the worst of all the worlds here. Oh, of course we get a fucking fight right when the torture dips below 75. What a dungus. What a ding dang dungus. Yeah, you little flails one by one. Everyone's stress is increasing incredibly slowly. Get out of here there, Seaward Slash. I got people who are who are just too, just too dang good for these types of fights. Will you be next? Maybe. Uh, turn into a goat man. Uh, you will rage against the dying of the first one. I know this by now, so because okay, or we can just crit. Which the reason I was trying to target that first one was so that my arbalesters, who can barely target the front rank, would always have a target. But if you're gonna crit and kill the first rank, then now they will have less targets. By uh, they can't even shoot corpses. But because they can't shoot corpses, once we kill these two. Like, now we got a 50-50 shot of hitting the front rank of the blind fire, if that ever even becomes a thing that we need to care about. Uh, which it does not, because now now everyone's fine. Heal, please. Heal more than that. Heal just, like, four more than that, and we're good, buddy. A seaward slash. Mm. I am okay with Mane being in that second rank. Uh, I do want those, uh, those dodge trinkets to put on him, though. Uh, and pairing him up with a Houndmaster for that dodge buff and guard would be just so choice. Uh, but I only have the one Houndmaster, and he's all the way at the top of the rank. He's at the pinnacle. He's the pinnacle of dogmancery. Okay, we got a shocker. Don't like it. Don't stun, don't stun, don't stun. Yeah. Don't. Okay, cool. So that lets us rage. Uh, we can maybe either punch... To death, yeah, yeah, punching to death a drowned thrall gets him the fuck out. And he doesn't leave a corpse either. He doesn't die well, and he doesn't leave a good-looking corpse. Ow, oh, man, hey, why you gotta be stunned? Why don't you put a mark on someone? Well, mm, beans and rice. Didn't like that one bit. Can you shoot, bud? Nope. You're, uh, well, okay, that wasn't so bad. A free backwards move for the Arblester? That's, uh, that's some good shit. Uh, don't like that the fucking guard at a jelly man. Don't like them guarding a jelly man. Uh, let's... Should we just rake? It's not gonna do enough damage to kill a jelly man. And I think it's better for us to kill jelly mans than leave them alive because they've got the potential to stun. Salty Gouge is the one with the bleed. Uh, does resist the bleed, which is very polite. Uh, let's take a shot. We'll always be hitting the Pelagic Guardian, I guess, from now on. Man, hey! Why you gotta roll that, that fat zero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's, everyone's bummed out by how bummed out you are. Get a thick two on the Guardian. Ugh. His, his damage reduction is just so high. Ouch! With a big old bleed. I don't like that one bit. Boom. This, we just gotta chew through, and we don't have any way of getting around that guard. We don't have a lot of AoE shit. Uh, so we just we just have to deal with it and now Mane has on we and he's fucking stunned which means he skips his turn uh, Taking the bleed and not letting me use the one bandage that we have on it What a butt what a butt fart for him to do that and of course they're targeting him again Jingo Kringo where'd they get these pingos get out of there. Yeah, they're with your ding dang stun. I Don't want none unless you got stuns, huh? Uh, let's fucking heal, please. Yes, 12. That's exactly, I mean, not exactly what I want, but that's very close to what I want. Blind fire. So far, been very lucky with blind fire. I'm a big fan. Uh, let's just rage at him. Just get mad. Ah, that's what he does. Let him open his mouth. He needs a mouth breather, too. Hmm. A bunch of fucking mouth breathers in the games that I play. All right, three rooms to go. Wow, that was a room battle. Are there three room battles in this dungeon? That's, what a wide range, one to three, maybe four room battles? Or I wonder if there's no limit, if every room has its own individual chance of rolling battle or treasure or whatever. 
That would be interesting, because that, that would mean you could have some vastly more difficult dungeons than others, and vastly less difficult dungeons than others. Like, especially for, like, long and medium-like dungeons, that, that seems like a... It would be such a huge variance if there were no limits on how many room battles there could be or not be. Ugh. These friggin' traps with the ding dang squid tentacle heads hidden under the water. They're always biting in my arbalests. Get out of here. Okay, third room battle. Uh, this, I mean, the Pelagic Guardian's probably gonna guard the Pelagic Shaman, unless I can drop the hit on him or stun the Guardian, which I think is the correct play. Uh, just because it'll give us some free shots on the Drowned Thrall and the Pelagic Shaman. Which is what we want. We do not want the Drowned Thrall to explode. So we're going to turn into a giant goat devil man. Uh, love that anim an animal. Love that animal. Not anime. Animal. Uh, rage against him. Ugh, leave him with one. That's. I want you to leave him with less than one. Uh, and then let's, we'll shoot the Pelagic Grouper. With Gre with Hodank and shoot the Shaman. Oh, a minimum damage roll. This was lame as a rob. We didn't kill a single dang one of them. Just needed a couple of couple of high range damage rolls in there, and we would have got them. But no. Well, let's use a rake so we can kill the Drown Thrall while putting a little bit of damage on the Guardian. Ooh 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 ooh. Uh, we got like a two thirds chance, but I was thinking of using Blind Fire, but Blind Fire would have a a 66% chance of hitting, but it does less damage than sniper shot, so what's the fucking point? Uh, let's do a sacrificial stab, maybe on this man. Yes! Okay, finally getting in there with that plus 10% to crit. It's plus 20% damage was the Eldritch, not, not fucking plus 20% chance to crit. That would be absurd. Whew, we are three for three with a blind fire shot. hitting the correct target. That is very nice. I wonder if it even can hit corpses. I wonder if it even can. Because uh, that, that's doing very well for us. Uh, give him a shank. No crits. I wish you would have... I wish, I wish, I wish upon a fish that you would give me crits. Get out of here. Get out of 5,000. Found a, another shovel. Replace all the shovels that we used. Uh, let's use a shovel in this idol. Can't. Uh, let's use some medicinal herbs on this idol. Can't. Let's use a uh, fucking key on this idol. Can't. Well, then I'm out of ideas. Uh, you look at it, Esqui. An evil force engulfs the hero? That's awful. Minus 25% damage and minus 10 accuracy until camp. Is that fucking four room battles? Last one had one. What the fuck is happening? That's so much variance. That's such a wild variance between the last mission and this one. It's bananas, it's banana sandwiches. Uh, these boys are just eldritch means getting through them will just be uh, we'll go through them like hot hot butter through knife okay wish I'd thought that one through a bit better maybe would have tried to blind fire some shit but Greslet with a one shots with that absolutely massive damage bonus let's transform hopefully rake can do two damage uh one to two come on yeah we got that too and put a little one on the sea maggot Bringing up this deep stinger closer and closer. It's in rake. It's in rake range. So if we get our our Asqui turn before it on the next round, that'll be good. That'll be good. Somehow I doubt it though. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's fucking going. But I still want to use Asqui on it if I can. God damn! Stop stunning my dang healer. Yes, very good. Like five for five on that blind fire where I want it to be. And a good roll for Rake as well means that we finish that fight too. Damn, we're getting treasure. Fucking fucking treasure on this one. It's good shit. Yeah, let's take these deeds. We don't need that many shovels. Fuck. What are we gonna do with that many shovels? There aren't even any obstacles on this one. It just did we get hit by the curse of shovels? Because we there's a fucking shambler. No. I look at my health bars and I say no. Also, I don't have a torch, so I couldn't if I wanted to. Well, that's a boring fight. Wow, we actually got the surprise? Oh, because Dim Light actually has a massive monster surprise bonus. Well, well, I'll be damned. Uh, mm, that's not what I want to see. That's not the rolls that I want. Let's get a nice big rage hit, huh? Nice big rage hit. We're not going to target the one in the front. Yeah, because we just undershoot it, we can use Hodank's sniper shot on that to finish it off. Because it's important to finish off enemies in Darkest Dungeon. High roll. 
Mm, almost as low as you could get, actually. Almost as low as you could get. Okay, good. A spear fishing miss. A spear fishing miss, please. You hit. Uh, does it pull? No, it, I guess it doesn't pull at this level. I feel like I feel like I've been pulled by spear fishing before. Did it? Does is that like their upgrade for the fucking the hoozy butts? The the veteran level upgrade for pelagic groupers is that they get pull on spear fishing? Because right now they're just kind of just kind of goobers. They don't do a hell of a lot. Uh, sure. Boom! Mane! A critical 14. It's very nice. It's very nice indeed. I guess I should have done it on the one in front. That's silly of me, but uh, maybe we'll get fucking lucky with blind fire on, on Greslet. Or Hodank will just not take their turn and uh, we'll get another another swing at him with Asqui. Yeah, what's up, Asqui? Sure, rake him. Why do I give a shit? Hit a corpse as well. It's got a, it's a fishman corpse with a sword buried in its cranium. All right, Jingus Kringus. Well, that episode went a little bit long. I did not expect that second dungeon to take as long as it did. But uh, next time on Tim Friend, uh, we're gonna do even more. Hopefully, getting these mother effers up to veteran level so we can start taking on those veteran level bosses again. So help me Glomb. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, everything that the Taskmasters tell me to tell you. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, bye bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>